What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Kitty Cocker 2. Play Sam and Max. If you like what you see and you want to see more, be sure to peck that subscribe button and smash the notification bell. So this is Sam and Max. Oh, I think we're already just going to start straight off. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. <laughs> well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Oh, it seems a bit random. What the hell was that all about? Hmm, unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. Alright, so moving back to the intro. So last time, this is basically Whee! a whole game, but it's like a season and it's got little episodes that don't seem to be entirely related as of yet. Um, so last time we had to s save Christmas by stop like <laughs> doing exorcism on Santa. No idea what we're going to be doing this time hey, though. Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, what you've got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think <laughs> of that? Of course. Bermuda Wait, Triangle is just casually Sybil, chasing people down the street. Why wouldn't oh, anyone think of that? Good. That ain't good at all. Shouldn't it be in Bermuda? That's What's what I was Bermuda thinking. Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. Oh, he's still going on about them. So how do we stop the triangle? How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them if you can figure out how to communicate with them. <laughs> so we need to communicate with the... with the triangle? How do we communicate with the triangle? They're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Those two. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. <laughs> and they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. I love how, like, in this, in this game... Watching the skies, Bosco. Always. In this universe, Bermuda Triangles aren't just a part of the sea. Bermuda Triangles are sentient beings that just run around. Thank God I'm not called Sybil. So we need to get the ships. Last time we learned that one of the best things to just do is to visit every building. And eventually the answers come to you. How oh, damn it, stupid spot. Are I got a hot of blood there for oh, a minute. It's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Or maybe it is a blood stain. <laughs> Shit. Um Let's talk to Stinky. Is that a blood stain? What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa. Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! She did. Oh, she this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Sure. Well, that it does is. sound tasty. It does, <laughs> it does not sound tasty. Uh, what's the special? What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. Mmm, good bit of rock in the uh, in the air. Uh... We're ready to order. I kind of want to try the special. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. Good bit of stone in your stomach. Oh God, look at that! I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. Basically, is it good? On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? 
<laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialize in the more circular, interdimensional portals. <laughs> Some expert. Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. I mean, I was feeling more like Bye, that. Stinky. That circular, circular thing was going to go like in a totally different direction to what it did, so I'm pretty glad about what direction it went into. What's this guy doing? Isn't this our neighbor? Wait, examine Je Jesus is here. Can we talk to this guy? Nah, it doesn't let you sect him yet, so I guess that's not sectable. What have we got in our inventory? We've got a granite sandwich. Do you think the granite sandwich would work on the... On the triangle? Where is the triangle? Oh! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Triangle, come back! Triangle! I don't want to chase the triangle. Oh, I missed the triangle. Is it? It wouldn't let me stack the triangle. There we go. Give it the sandwich. Nah. No, we don't want to give it the sandwich. Alright, so we don't want the... Sandwich is not for that then. Uh, there's nothing there. Maybe we maybe we we're, we're missing something in here. Hi, stinky. What? Oh. Still washing off the bread. Oh wait, 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 wait. The shapes. Stop sign. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Interesting. I'm not really sure that would have made a difference to the uh, Kennedy. Oh, that's wait. one ugly looking Buddha. Correction. That's two ugly looking Buddhas. Didn't press that. There we go. Okay, now we feed the stop sign to the triangle. I wonder what the sandwich is for then. Nope. If we stand here, we seem to get the best chance of hitting the uh, triangle when we were standing here. There's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right? <laughs> the air blinking head. Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! <laughs> Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling! I'll save you! As I was saying, there's another case solved. Oh, no, no, no. one's about to stop. Casualties. <laughs> what do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? You can read my Because <laughs> that would totally make me want to jump in, I man. Not. All right, so this is a good place to do, to, to do the intro. So, yeah, the reason why these episodes are numbered differently is because each episode is its own little thing, but it is part of a season. So a bit like a, a TV show, basically, where each episode is a bit different but they do make references to previous episodes I love this bit man I swear that is Bob Ross but I can't kind of be certain Oh. More tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help. That's one of the Easter Island, like the Easter Island heads, isn't it? Help! 
Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation <laughs> too? <laughs> vacation? <laughs> to we came game. here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. Is that lasagna? What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui. The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. That's not the voice I was expecting Whoa, to come out of that head. Talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Agreed. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something All the years from playing RPGs have taught us that lesson. What's all this about a prophecy? The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. I think Abe's going to run off of one of these by the end. Stop the prophecy and save us all. So, what's the prophecy? What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then, a terrible cataclysm. The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end. Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. <laughs> so what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? You must stop Ranakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island, which might be what that sign was about. built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! We'll, we'll take, take the, case. the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. Dead Dick meat really is the universal language. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. <laughs> I says Nose Ark. Nose Ark was here? I wonder, can we like give him this like this one to get his head to come out the ground? Like bribe him with a Want sandwich? A delicious sandwich? <laughs> Open your mouth! Oh right, you can. <laughs> Huh. Interesting. Oh, sorry, when I move my mouse, it accidentally makes that thing. What about this head? I want to press the gong. But what about this head? Can we give you the sandwich? Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. <laughs> oh, he is going to run off of them. You know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite sandwich? That's the best you can do? Apparently your taste in cuisine is as refined as your sense of humor. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm ready to chisel this guy a new one. What about Abe? Abe looks like he could use it, use a sandwich. Want a delicious sandwich? I can't. I'm going swimming later. Hmm. So none of them want the sandwich then. Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking skills have gotten rusty, but something tells me this just might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, 
Is this a bus baby Try came from? Imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tank belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. This is what? You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy this Hoffa was a ruthless bus union baby. organizer I think and head did. of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s. Boss baby stole his ideas from Sam and Max. Crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby. Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. Wait, what is the fountain what of youth? What fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam, look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. Why don't we try... him with the sandwich? Don't insult me. Jimmy Hoffa don't eat nothing unless it's made by a union cook. What if we pick off the non-union parts? Nothing do. So, we need to find a way to get rid of him. Tiny Tiki. I guess that's the only way to get into the cave. Looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Woo! Break! Woo! Are they old babies here? Pipe down, Chucklehead. Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorphs Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. They want a granite sandwich? No, they look like they're still eating soft food. <laughs> Hi, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the divers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh Jr. Whatever. So and that's that what happened to me and Mr. Earhart when you're missing. Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call. You don't write. You've had conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. See you around, kids. Well, we now know what happened to, uh... Amelia Earhart! I'd better not. Last time I played the bongo, I started a bloody decades-long tribal war. Best open mic night ever! Is there anything else around here? Okay. No one else to talk to. If I had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Bone Where did xylophone. You find so many femurs. My old horn section. Say hello to Jack, Don, and. Oh Don God, that's Jack. gruesome. That's awful. Oh, tell me about it. Well, these guys still can't hold the high notes. That is gruesome. You want a sandwich? No, the hunger will improve his art. I 
think it's a D sharp. Alas, Gene Krupa. I knew him. To be or not to be, that is the question. Dicky Grass. So what will we fill that with water? Can you fill it with multiple stuff? A diaper rash. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, so you can only have one at a time. Artificial clothes, artificial flavors, artificial flavors and water. How can you have all that crap in water exactly? Hang on, do you put wa water in the, the kettle to like make... Make a cup of tea? Fire's not intense enough to boil the water. More fire! More fire! Because I mean. <laughs> you know, you kind of go on a case or an adventure without a good cup of tea. Brits are born with the knowledge of how to make a good cup of tea. And so we use the passive fire. <laughs> the puns in this game are horrendous. Um. Pardon me, boy. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound I need for my big hit. Well, now I'm just stuck on the melody. Help me with that, would you? Gruesome. My old horn section. So, well, we did that, but there doesn't seem to be anything else that we can do. Hey, Max, want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. <laughs> Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Oh, as the seven of you left, stick to dodge flying balls. Watch out for flying bottles! Oh, but I sucked straight away. You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons either. <laughs> not pretty sure you lost. I mean, he's not wrong. Should we try that again? Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. Woo wee! Ride that sucker! Woo wee! Hot damn! Radical! Hot dang! Well, that was entirely pointless. Pointless, but fun. We're gonna have to go back because that's what happened in like the Santa one. We kept having to go back to get stuff. We know that there's nothing really going on in there. We've done what there's to do in Stinky. Sybil's is closed because Sybil's not here. So what's the garage got? What what what's the garage got for us? Howdy, cops. Anything new in the auto body business? Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Naturally. 
Make that dream a reality with our brand new car! That would be helpful for the band. With a captivating melody composed by our resident musical maestro. OFT oh, one! Alright, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Tonight! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of oh, this is why you're gonna have to reality um... game. I'm gonna have to do another oh, car game, aren't we? That is correct. It will revolutionize the entire industry. A music-based video game. Boom! We are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout the tri-state area. And I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers never intended. Does not compute. You are saying that music video games already exist? We kind of do. How do we play this game of yours? In a world where folk music instruments litter the mean streets, your mission is clear. Destroy, Destroy all, all the bagpipes. Ah! Bagpipe obliteration ultimate! I like bagpipes, but no fun for being pipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack. That's way too complicated. <laughs> Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive new car horn. We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? Go for it. Let's do it. It's like the Elmo one. Not the kill poor little Elmo. I don't think they called him Elmo in this. Hello, and welcome to the Pimp the Car Music Challenge. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Oh god, so this Bring time we've got the void stuff as well. Thanks to advances in nanotechnology and the dark arts, you can now drive... It's a void accordions and hit bagpipes only. Ready? Go! I haven't seen a single bagpipe yet, though. Oh, there's the bagpipes, man. They're right there. <laughs> I love how it makes an actual song as well. Not the not the best song I've ever heard in my life, but did we not manage to do it? Congratulations, you are. What do we did do it? to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. Alright, let's quickly save. So. Do we need to eat? Do we need to like go back to Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Uh, never mind. Never mind. We have to go to the Whee! triangle. I know you can probably play more mini games, but I'm not I'm not the biggest mini game fan, so it's not really fun for you guys to watch me replay mini games. So we got the, we've got the, we've got the horns. So we need to now 
go give that guy the horn. So you can finish making these bit music. Eventually we'll get to the guy. Horn. Hey Glenn, listen to this action. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's, that's fantastic. Who wrote it? Bring him with you so I can work with him full time. I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, in any case, that's the perfect melody for my new hit. Let's get started making musical history, boys. There's a demo on that conch shell. This is gonna be huge. Are we going to get Wait, it you can save better? music on conch shells? Talk to my agent. The new vinyl. <laughs> I just love beating. Uh, no, I didn't mean to click that. Yes. Let's go back over here then. Whee! So we've already talked to all them guys, we can't seem to do much with them. Ah, oh, the gong though. It's a gold gong. And no shit, Sherlock. I wonder. Is this going to be like where you have to do it in a certain order? Hmm. I mean, the triangles are going there anyway. I'm not sure if he did that right. I'm not sure what. Hold on. Come here. I can't reach it. Can we start again? Like. That's already there. That's already there, so I guess you can't. Um Unless we need to repeat like this sound. Take a listen to this. Oh, is it another of Glenn Miller's recordings? I've probably already heard it. It's the hot new sound that's sweeping the nation. Crank it up, Sam. Hmm, this isn't bad. It's got a good beat. It could do without the train sound, but the rest, it's downright toe tapping. What is that enchanting? whistling sound. Abe, are you even listening to me? Well, that's done something. Unless... Do you know, like, how when we offered this guy the sandwich? This sandwich sure does look delicious. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Anybody have any malt vinegar? Oh, a bit of fish and chips. Can't have that anymore. Since the lockdown. So I guess we want to put that in our tiki glass.
Well, let's make him disappear, like turn into a fetus. Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union wait stand. Do you want it in your shippy cup? I want it served by a dues-paying member of the waitresses' union. How do we get into the waitresses' union? Fortunately for you, I am the union leader and also dues collector. Convenient. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Alright. Now that's an odd feeling. Hey, what gives? The fountain of youth water is gone. Have you been sneaking into my inventory again, Max? Don't blame me if you're having trouble holding your water. Stupid magic water evaporates if it gets too far away from the fountain. That's damned inconvenient. Okay, well, at least we know that. So now we go do that surf mini game again. I'm gonna take another crack at that surfboard. But don't lean forward. Or backward too far the bottle. Okay, so now it's a bit harder because now we've got the water. Watch to out do. for flying bottles. Oh, fail. The sun was in my eye. Ride it. Hang six, moon doggy. Hot day. You wrote that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it with me on your Now head. I feel dumb. Not unless one of the that you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. Whee! Whee! Right, okay. Now we want to go back to the front of you. Get the water and then give it to Hoffa because he'll now take it from us because we oh, are in the winter Eve, Union. Isn't it beautiful with that gentle breeze and that melody in the air? Mm. Abe? Ever since those heads started talking, you haven't heard one word I've said. Right. What? Oh, I mean, did they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation, Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. <laughs> have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, I, know I don't know why you'd expect right. to compete. He's You're a stone head. In, a in front of you is a female no, stone I'm head. I'm not! I will long remember what you said here. And I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this! And on my birthday! Oof. Did somebody say, birthday! <laughs> oh, that's harsh. Wow. And again, I forget to bring my video camera. That's how I feel all the time, Max. Awesome stuff always happens when you haven't got something there to, like, capture it. Alright, let's use the tiki glass to get our youth juice. I also noticed that. Can we Look get at all this again? junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the Twenty Commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. <laughs> Fucking love it. Alright. So let's give him this now because he should take it. I told you, I will only be served by a member of the waitresses' union. But we did it! We did the mini game. What the? We did it. Oh, uh, do you have to do this first? Not happening.
I don't get it, because we've... How about that? Oh, there you go. Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must, must have misclicked admit. the wrong thing. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. All right, now we can use our fountain of youth water. Thank you. Hmm, this tastes familiar. I can't place exactly Please where- Please don't tell me it becomes a fetus. Oh, wait. I remember. Oh, Sorry, God. Guys. I know you were getting attached to the little guy, but it's- Can we just murder him? One. Attached to who? Oh, right. Did he leave his gun? Did we just murder that guy? Did that just happen? I think Whee! that just happened. I feel like this is a good place to leave it before we go in there. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, please remember to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Toodles.